Good morning, and thank you for joining me on another episode where I take a book and from that book I find a bar. Now a bar is a short, valuable nugget of information for us to feed our minds. This is Breakfast Bars! Breakfast Bars! Breakfast Bars! This is Breakfast Bars! Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Breakfast Bars. Today is Monday. And not only that, it is episode 36, which means there's 35 episodes before this one. Now, if you're a new listener, I would highly recommend going back through the last 35 episodes. Find a book that interests you. Find an author that you maybe have read before. But go ahead and check out some of those episodes. They're short. They're concise. And they're for you. Uh, They're for you to get value from. Email me, breakfastbarspodcast at gmail.com. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, look or or not, check me out on YouTube. Uh, And of course on Instagram at breakfast.bars. But hit me up, Instagram or email, and let me know if it's actually value coming to you in this podcast and on the same note feel free to hit me up too and let me know if I suck and your thoughts on if you think that you know maybe this isn't actually valuable regardless let me know I'm open to everything so would love to hear from you without further ado let's dive into today's book Legacy by James Kerr uh, this is a cool book. Um, it's what all the what the all blacks can teach us about the business of life. The business of life. So the all blacks is the New Zealand famous rugby team. Um, so it's a cool book on on obviously legacy and the subtitle of what is kind of what's packed in this book, but from a unique perspective of someone who's been uh, surrounded by the rugby team and their great feats that they've accomplished and hurdles they've overcome to uh, to be the team that they that they are and because like that that rugby team has such a great legacy because of its history and because of those hurdles they've overcome and the achievements and resilience their training all of that Uh, they're no joke and so uh, it was a really cool read. So let's go ahead and see what we find. Bars. All right, here we go today. It says, people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. If you want higher performance, begin with a higher purpose. It's crazy how, as you get into reading so many books, how many different perspectives there are on things and how many different ways things can be verbalized and phrased. But you know something is true if you hear it from multiple sources and it's interconnected with the other things that you have read and learned. So for example, that bar I just read is exactly the same thing as last week when I was breaking down uh, my goal setting process or how to think about goals and how to think about setting goals where you need to have that ultimate win, that ultimate goal, which is the vision that here is the why in the higher purpose. If you want people to buy into what you're doing, they don't care what you're doing. Plenty of people do the same thing as other people. They're going to care why you do it. That is what's going to resonate. That emotion is what's going to bring people in. Or on that same token, push people away. 
right? There's people, um, you know, even in the personal development space, a lot of people teaching the same thing. But some people come like a like a Jocko Willink, uh, like a Nee Shobo. They come with a ruth, a more ruthless mentality. Some people fuck with that. Some people don't. And then there's a Tony Robbins. Um, you know, you could kind of fit Gary V in here. Gary V is, I think, uh, a little more practical, like uh, Jocko or or Nee, but. There's a Tony Robbins or uh, in Gary V style where it's more empathetic is the wrong word because those other guys are, are, are very high in empathy as well. But it's more fluffy, if you will. There's more fluff to it. There's more trying to make people feel good. And some so some people like that. Some people want to feel good and some people want to be told that you're not doing enough and you suck. And so you got to step your game up. That's all emotion. All those guys, I think, have the same why there. But there, that is all emotion that resonates with some people versus another. Um, and that emotion is what helps people act. So the bar, again, is don't, people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. And now some of those guys buy, they th- want to resonate why they're doing it is to resonate with a certain group of people versus another group. And that's their why. So that's that emotion when you hear it on either you're attracted to it or turned off by it. And so if you want high performance, begin with a higher purpose. Begin with that vision because that one time suck. When things are going bad, you're going to know, okay, you know what? It sucks right now, but it's all good. It's part of the process. I know where I'm going rather than, oh, this sucks. Screw it. I'm done. Let's try something else. So again, today's bar starting the week off is people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. If you want high performance, begin with a higher purpose stay blessed thank you again for tuning in to another episode just a reminder you can find breakfast bars on itunes youtube and instagram by searching breakfast bars on instagram it's at breakfast.bars would mean a lot to me if you left me a review subscribe follow and of course If you find value in breakfast bars, if you like hearing them daily, go ahead and please share it with a friend, someone you know that wants to receive some daily bars.